The Brazil national football team Portuguese, Seleção Brasileira de Futebol represents Brazil in international men's association football. Brazil is administered by the Brazilian Football Confederation CBF, the governing body for football in Brazil. They have been a member of FIFA since 1923 and member of CONMEBOL since 1916. Brazil is the most successful national team in the FIFA World Cup, the main football international competition, being crowned winner five times, 1958, 1962, 1970, 1994 and 2002. Brazil also has the best overall performance in the World Cup, both in proportional and absolute terms, with a record of 73 victories in 109 matches played, 124 goal difference, 237 points, and 18 losses. Brazil is the only national team to have played in all World Cup editions without any absence nor need for playoffs. The Selecao is likewise the most successful national team in the FIFA Confederations Cup with four titles, 1997, 2005, 2009 and 2013. In relation to ranking standings Brazil farewell, having the all-time highest average football ELO rating, and the fourth all-time highest football ELO rating established in 1962. In FIFA's own ranking, Brazil holds the record for most team of the year wins with 12. Many commentators, experts and former players have considered the Brazil team of 1970 to be the greatest football team ever. Other Brazilian teams are also highly estimated and regularly appear listed among the best teams of all time, such as the Brazil teams of 1958-62, with honorary mentions for the gifted 1982 side. Brazil is the only national team to have won the World Cup on four different continents, once in Europe 1958 Sweden, once in South America 1962 Chile, twice in North America 1970 Mexico and 1994 United States and once in Asia 2002 Korea. Japan. They share with France and Argentina the feat to have won the three most important men's football titles recognized by FIFA, the World Cup, the Confederations Cup, and the Olympic Tournament. They also share with Spain a record of 35 consecutive matches undefeated. Brazil has notable rivalries with Argentina known as the Superclásico das Americas in Portuguese and Italy known as the Clásico Mundial in Spanish or the World Derby in English. Brazil has also produced players considered as the best of the world at their time and among the best in history, such are the cases of Pele, Garincha, Zico, Romario, Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, and Neymar. A common quip about football is, Os Ingleses o inventarum, os brasileiros o aperficorum. The English invented it, the Brazilians perfected it. History Topic <inaudible> Early History, nineteen fourteen to forty. It is generally believed that the first game of the Brazilian national football team was a 1914 match between a Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo select team and the English club Exeter City, held in Fluminense's stadium. Brazil won 2–0 with goals by Oswaldo Gomes and Osman, though it is claimed that the match was a 3–3 draw. In contrast to its future success, the national team's early appearances were not brilliant. Other early matches played during that time include several friendly games against Argentina being defeated 3–0, Chile first in 1916 and Uruguay first on 12 July 1916. However, led by the goal-scoring abilities of Arthur Friedenreich, they were victorious at home in the South American Championships in 1919, repeating their victory, also at home, in 1922. 27 years without official titles In 1930, Brazil played in the first World Cup, held in Uruguay in 1930. The squad defeated Bolivia but lost to Yugoslavia, being eliminated from the competition. They lost in the first round to Spain in 1934 in Italy, but reached the semi-finals in France in 1938, being defeated 2-1 by eventual winners Italy. Brazil were the only South American team to participate in this competition. The 1949 South American Championship held in Brazil ended a 27-year streak without official titles. The last one had been in the 1922 South American Championship, also played on Brazilian soil. Topic: 
The 1950 Maracanazo After that, Brazil first achieved international prominence when it hosted the 1950 FIFA World Cup. The team went into the last game of the final round, against Uruguay at Estadio do Maracana in Rio, needing only a draw to win the World Cup. Uruguay, however, won the match and the cup in a game known as the Maracanazo. The match led to a period of national mourning. For the 1954 World Cup in Switzerland, the Brazilian team was then almost completely renovated, with the team colors changed to a new design by Aldir Schlie from all white to the yellow, blue, and green of the national flag to forget the Maracanazo, but still had a group of star players. Brazil reached the quarterfinal, where they were beaten 4 2 by tournament favorites Hungary in one of the ugliest matches in football history, known as the Battle of Bern. Topic: The Golden Era with Pele, 1958 to 70. For the 1958 World Cup, Brazil were drawn in a group with England, the USSR, and Austria. They beat Austria 3 to 0 in their first match, then drew 0 to 0 with England. Before the match, coach Vicente Fiala made three substitutions that were crucial for Brazil to defeat the Soviets: Zito, Garincha, and Pele. From the kick-off, they kept up the pressure relentlessly, and after three minutes, which were later described as the greatest three minutes in the history of football, Vava gave Brazil the lead. They won the match by 2-0. Pelé scored the only goal of their quarter-final match against Wales, and they beat France 5-2 in the semi-final. Brazil then beat Sweden 5-2 in the final, winning their first World Cup and becoming the first nation to win a World Cup title outside of its own continent. Pele described it tearfully as a nation coming of age. In the 1962 World Cup, Brazil earned its second title with Garincha as the star player, a mantle and responsibility laid upon him after the regular talisman, Pele, was injured during the second group match against Czechoslovakia and unable to play for the rest of the tournament. In the 1966 World Cup, Brazil had their worst performance in a World Cup. The 1966 tournament was remembered for its excessively physical play, and Pelé was one of the players most affected. Against Portugal, several violent tackles by the Portuguese defenders caused Pelé to leave the match in the tournament. Brazil lost this match and was eliminated in the first round of the World Cup for the first time since 1934. They have not failed to reach the knockout stages of the competition since. Brazil became the second nation to be eliminated in the first round while holding the World Cup crown following Italy in 1950. After the 2002, 2010, 2014 and 2018 World Cups, France, Italy, Spain and Germany were also added to this list. After the tournament, Pelé declared that he did not wish to play in the World Cup again. Nonetheless, he returned in 1970. Brazil won its third World Cup in Mexico at the 1970 World Cup. It fielded what has since then often been considered the best World Cup football squad ever, led by Pele in his last World Cup finals, Captain Carlos Alberto Torres, Jairzinho, Tostao, Gerson and Rivalino. Even though Garincha had retired, this team was still a force to be reckoned with. They won all six of their games, against Czechoslovakia, England and Romania during group play, and against Peru, Uruguay and Italy in the knockout rounds. Jairzino was the second top scorer with seven goals, Pele finished with four goals. Brazil lifted the Jules Rimet trophy for the third time, the first nation to do so, which meant that they were allowed to keep it. A replacement was then commissioned, though it would be 24 years before Brazil won it again. The dry spell 1974 After the international retirement of Pele and other stars from the 1970 squad, Brazil was not able to overcome the Netherlands at the 1974 World Cup in West Germany, and finished in fourth place after losing the third place game to Poland. In the second group stage of the 1978 World Cup, Brazil competed with tournament hosts Argentina for top spot and a place in the finals. In their last group match, Brazil defeated Poland 3 1 to go to the top of the group with a goal difference of plus 5. Argentina had had a goal difference of plus two, but in its last group match, it defeated Peru 6-0, and thus qualified for the final in a match accused of ultimately unproven match fixing. The Brazilian team qualified for the third place, and were the only team to remain unbeaten in the tournament. 
At the 1982 World Cup, held in Spain, Brazil were the tournament favourites, and easily moved through the early part of the draw, but a 3–2 defeat in Barcelona to Italy, in a classic World Cup match, eliminated them from the tournament in the match that they referred to as Saria's disaster, referencing the stadium's name. The 1982 team, with a midfield of Socrates, Zico, Falcao, and Eder, is remembered as perhaps the greatest team never to win a World Cup. Several players, including Socrates and Zico, from 1982 returned to play at the 1986 World Cup in Mexico. Brazil, still a very good team and more disciplined defensively than four years earlier, met the Michel Platini led France in the quarter finals in a classic of total football. The game played to a 1-1 draw in regulation time, and after a goalless extra time, it all came down to a penalty shootout, where Brazil was defeated 4-3. After 40 years, Brazil was victorious in the 1989 Copa America, this being their fourth victory in four tournaments hosted in Brazil. This achievement ended a 19-year streak without official titles for the Brazilians. The last one had been in the 1970 World Cup. At the 1990 World Cup in Italy, Brazil was coached by Sebastião Lazzaroni, that had been the coach in the 1989 Copa America. With a defensive scheme, whose main symbol was midfielder Dunga, forward Kerka and three centre-backs, the team lacked creativity but made it to the second round. Brazil was eliminated by Diego Maradona-led Argentina in the round of 16 in Turin, losing to their South American archrivals 1-0. Topic: Return to Winning Ways, 1994 to 2002. Brazil went 24 years without winning a World Cup or even participating in a final. Their struggles ended at the 1994 tournament in the United States, where a solid side headed by Romário and Bebeto in attack, Captain Dunga in midfield, goalkeeper Claudio Tafarel and defender Jorginho won the World Cup for a then record fourth time. Highlights of their campaign included a 1–0 victory over the United States in the round of 16 at Stanford University, a 3–2 win over the Netherlands in the quarterfinals in Dallas, and a 1–0 victory over Sweden in the semi-finals at Pasadena's Rose Bowl. This set up Brazil-Italy in the final in Pasadena. A game played in searing heat which ended as a goalless draw, with Italy's defence led by Franco Baresi keeping out Romario, penalty kicks loomed, and Brazil became champions once again with Roberto Baggio missing Italy's last penalty, entering the 1998 World Cup as defending champions, Brazil finished runner-up. Having topped their group and won the next two rounds, Brazil beat the Netherlands on penalties in the semi-final following a 1-1 draw. Player of the tournament Ronaldo scored four goals and made three assists en route to the final. The build-up to the final itself was overshadowed by the world's best player Ronaldo suffering a convulsive fit only hours before kick-off. The starting lineup without Ronaldo was released to a shocked world media, but after pleading that he felt fine and requested to play, Ronaldo was reinstated by the coach, before giving a below-par performance as France, led by Zidane won 3-0. Fueled by the three R's. Ronaldo, Rivaldo and Ronaldinho, Brazil won its fifth championship at the 2002 World Cup, held in South Korea and Japan. Brazil beat all three opponents in group play in South Korea and topped the group. In Brazil's opening game against Turkey, in Ulsan, Rivaldo fell to the ground clutching his face after Turkey's Hakan Unsel had kicked the ball at his legs. Rivaldo escaped suspension but was fined £5,180 for play acting, and became the first player ever to be punished in FIFA's crackdown on diving. In their knockout round matches in Japan, Brazil defeated Belgium 2-0 in Kobe in the round of 16. Against England in the quarterfinals in Shizuoka, they won 2-1, with the winning goal coming from an unexpected free kick by Ronaldinho. The semi-final was against Turkey in Saitama, Brazil won 1-0. The final was between Germany and Brazil in Yokohama, where Ronaldo scored two goals in Brazil's 2-0 triumph. Ronaldo also won the Golden Shoe as the tournament's leading scorer with eight goals. Brazil's success saw them receive the Laureus World Sports Award for Team of the Year. <laughs> World Cup Drought, 2006–present Brazil won the 2004 Copa America, their third win in four competitions since 1997. 
Brazil also won the 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup for the second time. Manager Carlos Alberto Pereira built his side through a 4-2-2-2 formation. Nicknamed the Magic Quartet, the attack was built around four players, Ronaldo, Adriano, Kaká and Ronaldinho. In the 2006 World Cup, Brazil won its first two games against Croatia 1-0 and Australia 2-0. In the final group game against Japan, Brazil won 4-1. Ronaldo scored twice and equaled the record for the most goals scored across all World Cups. In the round of 16, Brazil beat Ghana 3-0. Ronaldo's goal was his 15th in World Cup history, breaking the record. Brazil, however, was eliminated in the quarterfinals against France, losing 1-0 to a Thierry Henry goal. Dunga was hired as Brazil's new team manager in 2006. Brazil then won the 2007 Copa America, where forward Robinho was awarded the Golden Boot and named the tournament's best player. Two years later, Brazil won the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup, defeating the U.S. 3-2 in the final, to seal their third Confederations Cup title. Kaká was named as the player of the tournament while striker Luis Fabiano won the top goalscorer award. At the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, Brazil won their first two matches against North Korea 2-1 and the Ivory Coast 3-1, respectively. Their last match, against Portugal, ended in a 0-0 draw. They faced Chile in the round of 16, winning 3-0, although in the quarterfinal they fell to the Netherlands 2-1. In July 2010, Mano Menezes was named as Brazil's new coach. At the 2011 Copa America, Brazil lost against Paraguay and was eliminated in the quarterfinals. On 4 July 2012, due to a lack of competitive matches because the team had automatically qualified for the 2014 World Cup as tournament hosts, Brazil was ranked 11th in the FIFA ranking, the first time the Selecao was ruled out the top 10 since the ranking was created in 1993. Return of Luis Felipe Scolari 2013-14 In November 2012, coach Mano Menezes was sacked and replaced by Luis Felipe Scolari. On the 6th of June 2013, Brazil was ranked 22nd in the FIFA ranking, their lowest ever rank. Brazil entered the 2013 Confederations Cup with the objective of defending their title. In the final, Brazil faced Spain, winning 3-0 and sealing their fourth Confederations Cup title. Neymar was named player of the tournament and received the Golden Ball Award and the Adidas Bronze Shoe, and Julio César won the Golden Glove Award for the best goalkeeper of the tournament. Topic: 2014 World Cup in the opening match of the 2014 World Cup against Croatia, two goals from Neymar and one from Oscar saw the Selecao off to a winning start in their first World Cup on home soil in 64 years. The team then drew with Mexico, before confirming qualification to the knockout stage by defeating Cameroon 4-1 with Neymar again scoring twice, and Fred and Fernandinho providing further goals. Brazil faced Chile in the round of 16, taking an 18th-minute lead through David Luiz's first goal for the Selecao in a 1-1 draw. Brazil prevailed 3-2 on penalties, with Neymar, David Luiz and Marcelo converting their kicks, and goalkeeper Julio César saving three times. The team again faced South American opposition in the quarterfinal, defeating Colombia 2-1 with goals from central defenders David Luiz and the team captain Thiago Silva. Late in the match, Neymar was stretchered off after Juan Camilo Zuniga's knee had made contact with the forward's back. Neymar was taken to hospital and was diagnosed with a fractured vertebra, ruling him out for the remainder of the tournament. Prior to this, Neymar had scored four goals, provided one assist, and been named man of the match twice. Brazil faced further problems ahead of their semi-final against Germany, as Thiago Silva was to serve a one-match suspension for receiving his second yellow card of the tournament in the quarterfinal. The Selecao went on to lose 1-7 to the Germans, their biggest ever defeat at the World Cup and first home loss in a competitive match since 1975. Towards the end of the match, the home crowd began to olay each pass from the German team, and booed their own players off the pitch after the final whistle. The match has been nicknamed the Manerazo, making reference to the nation's previous World Cup defeat on home soil, the Maracanazo against Uruguay in 1950, and the Estadio do Minerao where the match took place. 
Brazil finished the World Cup in fourth place, having failed to avenge their semi-final defeat to Germany by losing to the Netherlands 0-3 in the third place match. The team ended the tournament with the worst defensive record of the 32 competing nations, having conceded 14 goals. The only other countries to concede 12 or more goals in the current World Cup format are North Korea and Saudi Arabia. Following these results, Scolari announced his resignation. Return of Dunga On the 22nd of July 2014, Dunga was announced as the new manager of Brazil, returning to the position for the first time since the team's exit at the 2010 World Cup. Dunga's first match in his second reign as Brazil's manager was a friendly match against 2014 World Cup quarter-finalists Colombia at Sun Life Stadium in Miami on the 5th of September 2014, with Brazil winning the match 1-0 through an 83rd-minute Neymar free kick goal. Dunga followed this up with wins against Ecuador 1-0 in the 2014 Superclásico de las Américas against Argentina 2-0 against Japan 4-0 against Turkey 0-4 and against Austria 1-2 Dunga continued Brazil's winning streak in 2015 by defeating France 3-1 in another friendly They followed this with wins against Chile 1-0 Mexico 2-0 and Honduras 1-0 2015 Copa America Brazil started the tournament with a victory against Peru after coming from behind by 2–1 with Douglas Costa scoring in the dying moments, followed by a 1–0 defeat against Colombia and a 2–1 victory against Venezuela. In the knockout stage, Brazil faced Paraguay and was eliminated after drawing 1–1 in normal time and losing 4–3 in the penalty shootout. As such, Brazil was unable to qualify for a FIFA Confederations Cup in this case, the 2017 edition for the first time in almost 20 years. Topic: <laughs> Copa America Centenario. Brazil began the tournament with a scoreless draw against Ecuador, with the Ecuadorians having a goal wrongly disallowed in the second half. This was followed by an emphatic 7-1 victory over Haiti, with Philippe Cochinho scoring a hat-trick. Needing only a draw to progress to the knockout stage of the tournament, Brazil suffered a controversial 1-0 loss to Peru, with Raul Ruidias scoring in the 75th minute by guiding the ball into the net with his arm. This loss, Brazil's first loss to Peru since 1985, saw Brazil eliminated from the tournament in the group stage for the first time since 1987. Topic. Tight era 2016. On 14 June 2016, Dunga was sacked as manager of Brazil. Tite, who had managed Corinthians, the 2015 Brazilian champions and the 2012 World Club Cup champions, was confirmed as his replacement six days later. Tite's debut was marked with a 3-0 away victory against Ecuador on 2 September, followed by a 2-1 win over Colombia, a 5-0 win against Bolivia and a 0-2 victory away against Venezuela, bringing Brazil to the top of the World Cup qualifiers leaderboard for the first time since 2011. Brazil then defeated Paraguay 3-0 to become the first team, other than the hosts Russia, to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. Brazil started their 2018 World Cup campaign with a draw against Switzerland, Brazil's goal coming from a 25-yard bending strike from Felipe Cochinho, their first non-win in an opener since 1978. In the following match against Costa Rica on the 22nd of June, goals from Cochinho and Neymar in stoppage time saw Brazil win 2-0. They won their final group game 2-0 over Serbia with goals from Paulinho and Thiago Silva, meaning qualification for the last 16 as group winners. On 2 July, goals from Neymar and Roberto Firmino saw Brazil 2-0 win over Mexico to advance to the quarterfinals. On 6 July, Brazil were eliminated from the 2018 World Cup by Belgium in the quarter-finals, losing 2-1, with Fernandinho scoring an own goal for Belgium while Renato Augusto scored the only goal for Brazil. <inaudible> Olympics Brazil won its first Olympic gold medal in 2016 on home ground. 
Prior to that victory, the Olympic football tournament was the only international competition in football organized by FIFA that Brazil had never won. They have also won three silver medals 1984, 1988 and 2012 and two bronze medals 1996, 2008. The Brazilian Olympic team is often coached by the national team coach, such as Mario Zagallo in 1996, Vanderlei Luxemburgo in 2000, Dunga in 2008 and Mano Menezes in 2012. Nicknames. <inaudible> 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 The Brazil national team is known by different names in various parts of the world. Nicknames for the squad in Brazil include, canarinho, meaning little canary, a reference to a species of bird commonly found in Brazil that has a vivid yellow color. This phrase was popularized by the late cartoonist Fernando Mangabera Piruchetti during the 1950 World Cup. Amarelina, little yellow one, Selecao, the national squad, Verde Amarelo, green and yellow, Pentacampio, five-time champions, and Esquadrão de Ouro, the golden squad. Some Latin American commentators often refer to the Brazil team as El Scratch, the Scratch, among others. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Kit evolution. Brazil's first team colors were white with blue collars, but following the defeat at Maracana in the 1950 World Cup, the colors were criticized for lacking patriotism. With permission from the Brazilian Sports Confederation, the newspaper Correio da Manha held a competition to design a new kit incorporating the four colors of the Brazilian flag. The winning design was a yellow jersey with green trim and blue shorts with the white trim drawn by Aldir Garcia Schlie, a 19-year-old from Pelotas. The new colors were first used in March 1954 in a match against Chile, and have been used ever since. Topper were the manufacturers of Brazil's kit up to and including the match against Wales on of September 1991. Umbro took over before the next match, versus Yugoslavia in October 1991. Nike began making Brazil kits in time for the 1998 World Cup. The use of blue as the second kit color dates from the 1930s, but it became the permanent second choice accidentally in the 1958 World Cup final. Brazil's opponents were Sweden, who also wear yellow, and a draw gave the home team, Sweden, the right to play in yellow. Brazil, who traveled with no second kit, hurriedly purchased a set of blue shirts and sewed on them the badges taken from their yellow shirts. Topic. First kit Topic. Second kit Topic. Kit sponsorship Topic. Venues Brazil does not have a home national stadium like many other national teams, and rotates their home World Cup qualifying matches in various venues throughout the country, such as the Maracana Stadium in Rio de Janeiro. Since September 2006, Brazil has played many international friendlies at Arsenal's Emirates Stadium in London, England. Brazil also plays a number of international friendlies in the United States and other parts of the world as part of the Brazil Global Tour. Brazil's training camp is the Granja Comeri in Terrazópolis, located 90 km 55 miles from Rio de Janeiro. Granja Comeri was opened in 1987, and underwent significant renovations in 2013 and 2014. <laughs> Competitive record The following tables shows only Brazil's results at major tournaments. To see Brazil's results at minor tournaments, see Brazil national football team competitive record. Topic: <inaudible> FIFA World Cup. Brazil has qualified for every FIFA World Cup they entered, never requiring a qualifying playoff. With 5 titles, they have won the tournament on more occasions than any other national team. Asterisk denotes draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. 
Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic: <laughs> FIFA Confederations Cup. Topic: <laughs> 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 Fixtures and results. Win. Draw. Loss. Topic 2018. Topic 2019. Topic Players. Topic Current Squad. The following 23 players were called up for two friendly matches against Uruguay and Cameroon on 16 and the 20th of November 2018 respectively caps and goals correct as of the 20th of November 2018 after the match against Cameroon Topic recent call-ups The following players have been called up to the Brazil squad in the last 12 months Topic Previous Squads Topic Player Records Topic Most Caps As of the twentieth of November twenty eighteen Players in bold are still active, at least at club level. Topic Top Goalscorers As of the twentieth of November twenty eighteen Players in bold are still active, at least at club level. Topic Coaching Staff Topic Titles Topic Senior Team Topic Official Titles FIFA World Cup Winners 1958 1962 1970 1994 2002 Runners up 1950 1998 Third place 1938 1978 Fourth place, 1974, 2014. FIFA Confederations Cup. Winners, 1997, 2005, 2009, 2013. Runners up, 1999. Fourth place, 2001. South American Championship, Copa America. Winners, 1919, 1922, 1949, 1989, 1997, 1999, 2004, 2007. Runners up, 11, 1921, 1925, 1937, 1945, 1946, 1953, 1957, 1959, Argentina, 1983, 1991, 1995. Third place, 1916, 1917, 1920, 1942, 1959, Ecuador, 1975, 1979. Fourth place, 1923, 1956, 1963. Pan American Championship. Winners, 1952, 1956. Runners up, 1960. Topic. Other awards FIFA Team of the Year Winners 12, 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999, 2000, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006 FIFA Fair Play Trophy 
Winners, 1982, 1986, 1994, 2006 World Soccer Team of the Year Winners, 1982, 2002 Topic. Friendlies Taka Independencia Winners, 1972 Taka do Atlantico Winners, 1956, 1970, 1976 USA. Bicentennial Cup Tournament Winners, 1976 Ruse Cup Winners, 1987 Australia Bicentenary Gold Cup Winners, 1988 Umbro Cup Winners, 1995 Lunar New Year Cup Winners, 2005 Roca Cup, Superclásico de las Americas Winners 12, 1914, 1922, 1945, 1957, 1960, 1963, 1971, 1976, 2011, 2012, 2014, 2018 Copa Rio Bronco Winners, 1931, 1932, 1947, 1950, 1967, 1968, 1976 Taka Oswaldo Cruz Winners, 1950, 1955, 1956, 1958, 1961, 1962, 1968, 1976 CONCACAF Gold Cup Runners-up, 1996, 2003 Third place, 1998 Olympic and Pan American team Summer Olympic Games, Gold Medalists, 2016 Silver Medalists, 1984, 1988, 2012 Bronze Medalists, 1996, 2008 Pan American Games Gold Medalists, 1963, 1975 shared, 1979, 1987 Silver Medalists, 1959, 2003 Bronze medalists, 1983, 2015 Pre-Olimpico, South American Olympic Qualifying Tournament Winners, 1968, 1971, 1976, 1984, 1987, 1996, 2000 Runners-up, 1964 Third place, 1960, 2004 See also Brazil Global Tour Brazil National Under-23 Football Team Brazil National Under-20 Football Team Brazil National Under-17 Football Team Brazil National Futsal Team Argentina and Brazil Football Rivalry Brazilian Football Songs Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A List of Brazil national football team managers <laughs>